Hi Coach Art students, welcome to the final class of the holiday season uh, baking club. We're going to be making crepes today. I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for joining me for three awesome weeks. Let's get started. Okay, so I will be running you through the list of ingredients and the tools we need today. So I've measured out uh, my ingredients. We'll be using one cup of all-purpose flour. We'll need two eggs today. We'll need a cup of milk or water. You can use any type of milk. I'm using oat milk today. We'll need a quarter teaspoon of salt and uh, two tablespoons of butter melted, which I have already melted here. Um, and then we'll just need some toppings for our crepes. You can use anything you like. Um, I'll be using a banana today and uh, probably some Nutella or jam. Um, so whatever you have on hand will be great. And to ask for tools, um, you need a frying pan. This is the one I'm using today. It's a little bit larger than I would like, but um, if you have something smaller, that is perfect. You will need a spatula, um, and of course you need a measuring cup to measure your ingredients. The bowl or two handy so you can combine your ingredients uh, for your dry and your wet ingredients. And uh, you'll just need a plate to go ahead and serve your crepes at the end. So I have my one cup of all-purpose flour here. To this, I will be adding a quarter teaspoon of salt, my two um, tablespoons of butter melted in this container. Um, I'm going to go ahead and add one cup of oat milk to this again. Okay, awesome. So I have my one cup of milk and uh, two tablespoons of melted butter in here. I'm gonna go ahead and give them a little mix with a fork. And I'm gonna go ahead and crack in the two eggs and combine them really well. I'm gonna go ahead and now combine my wet and dry ingredients together and give them a really good mix. My batter is completely mixed and it's pretty runny and smooth so I can easily pour it into the I have medium low heat on right now. I'm going to use a little bit of extra butter or cooking spray if you have that on hand um, to uh, grease my pan so that the crepes don't stick to it. So I have my pan ready, it's warmed up now, and I have switched over to a spatula here so that I can go ahead and scrape the crepe batter as I use it. Um, so depending on the size of your um, frying pan, you may be able to use more or less of the batter. Um, I will be putting in about a a uh, quarter cup of the batter into the pan um, and I, I think the best way honestly is just to do it by eye so go ahead and pour in some batter um, the recipe says to use a quarter cup at a time um, I would say just go ahead and pour some in and um, see how it's looking I'm gonna use this little um, ladle to help me with my batter so I'm gonna go ahead and pour some into my pan and we're looking for a really thin um, crepe at the end. So go ahead and um, tilt your pan around to spread the batter evenly um, as you see me do here. So I can see that two scoops was too little for a pan of this size. Again, I'm using a larger pan today. Um, so I think I'll be needing about four scoops um, per crepe. So I'm going to go ahead and spread this around and make it into one thin cohesive layer okay so you want to cook your crepe for about two minutes or so i'll go ahead and show you uh, when mine is ready to flip it's pretty much there you can see the sides are not really sticking i can loosen it um, with a wooden spoon or a spatula pretty easy. okay so i have two wooden spoons i'm gonna go ahead and lift the crepe and flip it over and you should be able to flip it over pretty easily so you can see it get, it's getting a little bit um, golden brown on the side that was cooking 
um, let me turn this so you can see right there. Um, and so now we let the second side cook for a little bit. Um, you want the other side to be a little bit golden brown as well. And then we'll be able to transfer this to a plate. Okay, so crepe number one is done. I'm gonna go ahead and remove it and repeat this process with the rest of my batter. I'll show you. crepes are all ready let me go ahead and plate one for myself i will be adding some banana slices to it um, you can use berries you can use um, whipped cream um, you could use nutella or jam or anything else you have handy or honey um, whatever you like so go ahead and customize it i'll be using a little bit of nutella on this for a little bit of extra sweetness So there we have it. Here is my banana and Nutella crepe. I'm really excited to taste this. Um, I hope you all have enjoyed spending time with me in the past couple of classes. It's been a pleasure meeting all of you and um, baking a lot of delicious recipes together. I'm sending you all my love and I wish a very happy holiday season for all you and your loved ones. Take care. Bye everyone.